My home could overlook a lot of things. I don't know anything I would like more than this. Last year I did progress photos, the first of every month from this window. And it's incredible how much this space is gonna change just in the next month. I was actually thinking the other day about how funny it is that the garden is actually only like in total prime for like less than a month. So much preparation, so much work, and really like the fullness of like the wow factor of like the jungle garden where all the flowers are blooming and nothing is, has died to sickness yet and it's just absolutely full and lush. It's, it's only like three or four weeks <laughs> out of the whole year and then things start to cycle out, flowers start to, you know, deadhead and carry on to the next thing. I mean, it's growing almost all year, but really that amazing season of just full bloom is so short. I was talking to my cousin Amy and um, she's a photographer and I think she's gonna set up some photo sessions in the garden this year and do photos for people during that time. I'm like, come on, we gotta use it. We gotta use it for just something amazing. Once the pavilion's done and everything is just like exploding in the window greenhouse, I don't know. I think I might set up a cot, just camp out for the month of June. <laughs> Here, our big issue is heat. So, you know, July is when we start having a lot of 100 degree days and that's when the plants really start to struggle. So June is the glory month in the garden here and maybe early July. It's actually pretty early. It's, I don't know, 6.45 or so. Jackson, I have to take him to school, but I figured I would walk around with you guys. First, I'm leaving town here in just a little while. I have a t like a flight at 11 that I have to catch. All the rest of my babies are asleep though, so I figured we can go around the farm. Let's go check on Mayhem, see if that ever's had any babies yet. I think she's mocking me. Being a writer, sometimes I have these moments in my life where I think like, if this were fiction, like this is where you would zoom forward three chapters and be like, oh, there was that foreshadowing. Or, you know, if it was like a TV show, like the next screen would be, you know, like the, oh, that's how it went down. And sometimes like vlogging, I think this is how it's gonna play out. It doesn't always happen that way, you know, like this is real life, not fiction, but I'm just imagining Mayhem like having these babies when Jeremiah is here by himself or maybe like right before we leave for the shindig like we're gonna be getting up and getting ready to go and then they're you know coming out and Mayhem's in the middle of labor something you know like something completely inconvenient that's that's kind of what I've prepared myself for the 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 author in me is seeing the opportunity for a great conundrum here <laughs> I just got her to stand up it's gotta be today guys I showed you her udder day before yesterday. Let me get her out here. Hey, kitten George. You having a nice little nap with the hay? Okay, so her, uh, her ligaments are completely sunken. Like, they've been really loose and soft, but they're like, there's nothing there now. Oh yeah, she's got, she's got discharge. Her udder is massive. Larger than it has been, definitely. Aw, oh, Miriam just peed on my monopod. Come on. Oh, nice, nice poop show. Look at that. You all see that? And she's got discharge. Yep, she's gonna go in labor today. I gotta leave here in two and a half hours to go to Dallas. I can't miss my flight over a goat having a baby. So it looks like Jeremiah's gonna be on midwife duty. All right, I'm gonna go tell him uh, what's up. Hey. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we knew it would happen. What? Mayhem is definitely having kids today. <laughs> her udder is massive. She's got goo hanging down her, her backside and uh, her ligaments are gone, gone. So. <laughs> it's Amanda Palladini's fault. <laughs> Why? Because she had to say, oh, I really want her to have kids while I'm here. Just so she'll be like. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I had gotten that butt clinch on video. <laughs> Jeremiah has actually uh, been the one here for a few of, the, of our does, kidding. I've been here for the majority of them, but the only ones that have ever had issues are when I'm not here and he is here. 
So he has definitely had to put his hand inside a goat to retrieve a kid before. <laughs> not this, it's not happening this time. No. You ready to vlog it for our faithful viewers? Because you love them. <laughs> I just got home from taking Jack to school. Maya has mayhem isolated. We're gonna go out and uh, take a look at her. Yep. She definitely is gonna wait for me to leave. What a stinker. I am leaving um, one of our cameras here with Sweet Maya so he can get footage of Mayhem's baby having. I'm, I'm gonna miss it. I gotta leave here in 20 minutes, so. She is definitely not pushing out any kids right now, so. Her udder's massive. She's got more discharge and her ligaments are gone, so it should be within the next 24 hours. I'll be in Dallas. Is what it is. You would never do this to me, would you, Anna? I've always said that Mayhem doesn't live up to her name because she is so good. Now we have Maggie, who before we got the goat actually named Mayhem, we called Maggie Mayhem, who is absolutely 100% Mayhem. But uh, this girl came with this name and I always call her Sweet May or May May because she's so sweet. She's never punked me before like this. Obviously this isn't her fault. She's a goat, you can't control when you go into labor. But there is truly a doe code. Like, it's always the most inconvenient time. <laughs> Look at her. Goodness, these animals. <laughs> it's hard to leave you and the kids for a few days. And then like right underneath that, it's hard to leave the plants. <laughs> I mean like significant space underneath it, but like the next space, you, the distance between you and the kids and the plant. <gasps> Don't. Don't do. you dare compare me to a tomato plant. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take hostages. I've got everything watered in here. Uh, we have no more cold nights tonight. The low is well above freezing. So I'm not really concerned about the greenhouse. It'll be fine, I'm only gonna be gone two days. I do, before I go out of town, I do like to walk around and just kind of take a look at everything. And everything seems, it seems pretty good. So, so I'm gonna run down to the window greenhouse and take a look at it and then go level my babies and get on my way. I hope y'all aren't gonna get tired of seeing this because I am certainly not getting tired of showing you. It smells so good in here. It's significantly warmer in here. Oh yeah, it's very warm. This greenhouse gets sun first. It gets what? Sun first, yeah, I know. Before the other one. So everything in here is freshly watered. We've got the green stalks broke down in here because last night was freezing. I am pretty sure though that last night will be our last freezing night. I'm not planting the garden out till the 15th of April, but um, the 10 day forecast doesn't have another freezing night. That's good, that's good news, it's such a relief. Uh, those of you in the frigid north are just like giant eye roll. <laughs> I always say these are southern gardener problems when we have to wait like an extra week of April to plant our garden. I definitely am made to live in the south where we get to plant our gardens early. I don't know what I would do with a super short growing season. I, I seriously cannot imagine it at all. Bye beautiful space. I actually love it whenever I go out of town and there are sprouts and seedlings coming back because just a few days makes such a huge difference. <laughs> you think she's gonna kid? I think it's likely. She looks really close. You ready for this? Midwife Maya? She's easy. Yeah, she is easy. She's a good mommy. As it usually goes, doe code, mm -hmm. I think you guys call it. Uh, Jessica just sent me mm -hmm. a text saying that she's putting her phone on airplane mode and that she loves me. I came out real quick just to check on Mayhem and lo and behold, there's the goop mm -hmm. of no return. Her bag is completely full and as you can see, she's definitely having a contraction. So we should have kids on the ground here pretty, pretty quick. I know. I mean, I don't really know, because I've never had a kid, but I've seen it a lot. I'm sure it hurts. Sweetie. 
<laughs> you want some rubbins? Did you just... <laughs> She's like breathing on the camera lens and fogging it up. She just, mm -hmm. look, she just comes over here and she just wants you to rub on her. Oh, there we go. There's a contraction. It's okay. I'm just gonna sit out here mm -hmm. until uh, things progress, make sure everything goes smoothly, and get her... If I remember correctly, uh, molasses in her water. I'll go ahead and do a dewormer round. Um, and I think there's probably one yeah. other thing I'm supposed to do. But once yeah. she actually gets the kids on the ground, so she's really starting to push, so yeah. we should see kids here really quick. Mm. Mm. So Mayhem has only ever had one kid at a time. So the first one was a goat named Sooner, who we actually lost. And the second was a buck last year, who we rehomed because of his bloodlines and connection to the other goats. So I'm curious to see if she has just a single again or if she actually has like more than that. I got a pretty good look at the first uh, ambiotic sac coming out and from what I can tell there were two feet put in facing forward one on top of the other and that's what you want to see because right behind that should be the nose and the face um, what you don't want to see is any other body part coming out first so things seem to be pretty much in line mayhem's been yeah. probably our best uh, birther she's never needed any help so at least if I'm gonna have to do this while Jessica's gone at least it's with one of my favorites who's uh, pretty easy to handle. There it goes. It's okay, baby. Push. There's the nose. Two feet. Just, oh, she's gonna show us. Wow. Good job, Mayhem. I know, honey. I know. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's okay. You almost got it. You almost got it. Couple more good pushes. I know. <laughs> okay. First baby's on the ground. Okay. It's breathing. Whew. Wow. I'm gonna grab my towel, make sure that the airway's clear. Now, Mayhem is always really good about cleaning up. As you can see, she already gets started. So, sh this should not be a problem. Um, wow, really pretty. That's all boy. So, maybe she'll have another one for the first time and give us a girl. You can always hope. Either way, healthy baby on the ground, and I caught it on camera this time. It's kind of interesting because this little uh, buckling looks pretty similar in color to Nestle's uh, two kids. They have the same dad, the son and uh, Christopher Walken, uh, but with Mayhem's multicolors, I thought maybe she might get a little bit more of a mix. It seems like this little guy has more uh, white on them than the others. But he's a cute little guy. I want to see the baby start nursing here pretty soon. Also, I want to make sure that there's not another kid in there. I'm starting to think that there might be, which would be a first time for her. Depending on what comes out on the next few contractions, I'll know for sure. He's all cleaned up. She does a good job of that. He's already starting to try to stand up, so which means that pretty soon he'll find that massive, massive udder of hers. And get what he needs. They're like 20 minutes old, kid. You're already wagging your tail. He's a go-getter, trying to climb a wall. He's like, Mom, quit. Mayhem is definitely the goat version of a helicopter mom 
She is all up in your business all the time, but I do love her. She is one of my favorites, so this was awesome to be able to come out here and uh, be a part of it. So I'm still waiting to see what's going to come out next. I want to make sure that there's not another kid before I go inside. Oh, there's another kid. This is the first time that's ever happened. Presented great. Heads out, feet her out. She's gonna stand up and finish. It's alive, just open its eyes at me. So as soon as she can get him on the ground, or her, there it goes. There we go. There we go. Wow, okay. So for the first time, uh, in Mayhem's birthing history, she has had twins. Mm -hmm. And I can already tell you right now that it is another boy. Because those are testicles. Mayhem girl, two boys. Uh, on the plus side, for any of you who are wanting a sauna Nubian uh, buckling, we have plenty of them. Right, I'm pretty sure that's the sign we needed that she's done. She doesn't seem to be having any more contractions. She's cleaned up the second kid really nicely. I'm gonna go ahead and go get the molasses. I'm gonna get her a scoop of feed. Uh, I'm pretty sure the first buckling has already just started nursing, which means the second buckling won't be that far behind. Mayhem's never rejected a kid before, so I'm really not worried about that. And also with the thoroughness that she's cleaning them off, that's that's usually a telltale sign that she's not going to have any issues with them. But just to be on the safe side, I'll come back out here in a little bit to double check. Oh, sorry. She's about to drop that sack on my towel and I don't want to clean it up. Anyways, uh, I'll come back out and check just to make sure, but I don't think we'll have any further issues. So for this goat birthing session, well, that pretty much wraps it up. Thanks for hanging out with us today, guys. Consider the fort held. Until next time.